Got him. Oh. Oh, it is a fish. I thought I was just stuck on that grass. How's that pedal drive system working out for you? <laughs> What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. The day after a beautiful Easter Sunday. Today's Monday, man, and the temperatures have dropped. It's a new day in Texas out here. It is in the 30s this morning, so I am geared up, and I'm actually out here with the man, the myth, the rookie boys. We're out here with Jonathan Barzaccini. You guys might know him as one of the sloths from the Tiger King. They kept him quarantined in a cage out there, and luckily, I think that's kept him from getting what's going around. So we're going to be partnering up with him doing a little kayak fishing mission today. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Hitting some backwater creeks and having a bunch of fun trying to get some hogs in the boat. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get to this little, I wouldn't call it ramp, but when we get to the ramp. But he's going to be testing out these new pedal drives. I figured I'd give you a first look before we get to the spot. But uh, check them babies out. Well, folks, we might have just hit our first roadblock, an actual roadblock. Uh, yeah, folks, that is a Yui being flipped. All right, we should be coming up on the alternative entry here. It appears the camp is maybe closed. I'm sure we can find a spot. Yeah, so main entry points seem to be closed. We're going to see. We just passed a bridge. If maybe there's a way we can just scurry these little kayaks down the side of the bank here. Oh, I just took that off because we were right back there and popping out. Oh, just down the road. Let me see. If we can get down here. I'm saying a boat ramp if I've ever seen one. It's like a perfect entry point. It, we couldn't ask for anything better. Okay, cool. I'll be right over. All right, man. Let's get the yaks off the back of the truck. Let me give you a quick gander at what we do under the seat. This is our little storage that comes out from under your seat so you can grab stuff on the fly. I like to keep the uh, scale, pliers, some plastics, just the necessities so you can just reach down and grab whatever you need on the fly, like I say. Now let's go ahead and finish this thing up. Lock it in. The dry storage is where I'm gonna keep my gloves, GoPro batteries, um, portable charger in case I need to charge more GoPro batteries, which I won't because I got plenty. I guess I'll just toss this stuff in there as well. Probably my phone and whatnot. Well, actually, I've got zipper pockets, so it's not too much of a concern. But if you don't have zipper pockets, don't keep stuff in your pockets on the yaks. Definitely utilize the storage. I'm just going to walk down with the rods, backpack, and camera real quick, set it by the bank, and then come back and grab the yak. How's that pedal drive system working out for you? <laughs> oh, shit. We'll be launched in about two hours, y'all. Man, John's got this thing decked out, seemingly. Check this pedal drive system out though. Easy to take out of the water, pop, pop the propeller right there, then just sift it right back down through. Then you just got that Lawrence unit hooked up, got a battery up front. Native merged with uh, Bonafide, so. Let's go get some fish. Water is so clear, I can see straight to the bottom, about four feet, I would say. I'm on my first few casts, you guys were just uh, working it down a little bit. And I'm just realizing that this water is so clear that uh, hopefully y'all can see. Let me check the screen real fast. Oh yeah, y'all can see. So I mean, I'm just thinking I uh, I might tie on a fluke or a jerk bait. We're gonna mix it up. Got the glide on here. I've got a T rig without a plastic on. I just wanted to make sure I got out here and check the clarity before I wasted putting a plastic on. Cause I was thinking creek. I was thinking black and blue. And now that we get here, it's much more suited to a natural color. Uh, craw or creature bait is probably what I would go with. Just getting things started. This is exciting. It is uh, nine o'clock. Not yet. Oh, gets the tree. Yep, we're just coming down that incline and got stuck on the tree, and uh, the kayak was pulling away from it. So, check that line. 
seemingly fine. Must have just got the hook in some weird way and we set it free. Did you get a chance to order some of those uh, working class Euro? Yeah. Did you get in on that? I did. Nice. The, did the color I want, I got was sold out after four minutes too. I hit it like quick. Um, that, that I got some of that crappie color yeah. in the six and yeah. then I got the green pumpkin color in the seven. So. You've used them before, have you? I just caught one fish on them. Yeah, they're, they're really, those are like really good swim baits from what I've heard. Yeah, they're, they're beast mode. I have to show you that. That thing. More people coming on kayaks. More people coming on kayaks. Yeah. About 45 minutes in, you guys. It looks so fishy. Everywhere you cast, looks like What's you that? get bit by all these stumps. Just a little update. I'm just telling these folks, like, it looks so good. Like, wow. Well, gotta have something that wants to crawl. Y'all catching anything yet? Yeah, same, same here. All right, I gotta cast parallel to these banks. I gotta say, man, I felt so confident I could pick something off back here. John's been checking the water temperature and it's been like 60 degrees, man. Figured this little branch would just slay. There's a deer in the back out here. It's crazy. All right, time to make our way back out of here. Dude, we need to just grab the flies and hit these carp. They're freaking cruising. Here we go. There was a four or five pounder. Yep, he just, he scurried away. Oh, there you go. The glide got us, boys. Did you throw the jerk bait in there? Or? Yeah. Are we about to the end of the road? This is not what I expected. I gotta say, dude, when John invited me to come creek fishing with him, I wasn't picturing this right here. Beautiful little spot, man. Sounds like there might be one more spot to look at. At least give it the old glance over, and then we're gonna probably head to another spot. It's been a couple hours, no fish in the boat yet, but. There's going to be plenty. Just hold tight. Just hold tight. All right, guys, just got the yak beached. I'm going to spare you all the expense of watching all this. We're going to get these things loaded up and I'll catch you at the next spot here in just a second. Yep, we're here. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Mission accomplished there. Yeah, I'm feeling much better about this spot. This looks so good. All right, y'all, we're out here, spot number two. Feeling rejuvenated, this place looks so saucy. I am ready to get after it. We are just getting the kayaks unloaded, man. About to have some fun. We are turning things around right here. This is where we go crazy. Let's get after them fish. Alex, don't screw around, man. You ain't gotta do that. I appreciate you. On the water. Woo, and it's breezy. Almost three in the afternoon. I can't get any fish. I've had one bite today. That's it. I gotta have a little refresher. There we go. First fish of the day came on the grass here. Yes. Oh my gosh, and that wasn't even long after tying it on. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Swim jig gets down there in the grass. Woo, first fish of the day, guys. It is 3.16 in the afternoon. Pumped on that catch right there. Bluegill style swim jig. I'm just at a loss for words. First fish of the day. Guggen Squad Swim Jig, that's the Grass Hero, with a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer. This is just a dangerous duo. I just did a video on how sick this bait is, and then boom, just like that first, no, no, I casted one over there. Second cast with it first in that direction, we link up with a fish. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, let's get this thing back in the water and start slaying. What was so different about me throwing the chatter bait versus the swim jig? For one thing, it's just confidence, and every time you switch, you have a rejuvenated mindset and you're ready to go, but second of all, I'm able to actually get down in the grass. That chatterbait, you can rip through it and stuff, but I don't really creep it down. On the 
swim jig, also the way I was popping it, it gets that skirt to flutter. The chatterbait's always a consistent scurry, but also I had a different trailer on the chatterbait. I was using the E-Eliminator, which I've been preaching that it's so good on that thing. But here, maybe they don't like that. What they're feeding on, I'm sure, is mainly bluegill. I've been seeing them cruise around, and this little paddle tail is much more natural to their forage. So uh, what we're doing here is we're matching the hatch, and that is what got it done. And it's about time. I have a feeling I'm going to start catching quite a few now, and I'm getting amped up. Whether I do or not, it's all gravy. I'm just excited to get a fish in the boat. So let's keep this thing going. Yes, guys. Patience. Everyone wants to know how to catch a lot of fish. Well, let me tell you, based off today's stats, patience like we have moved these kayaks in and out of multiple bodies of water my feet are soaking wet just because of uh getting wet from that last creek and then also getting in here wasn't the easiest it's just easy to say what am i even doing and if you stick it out you'll catch those fish Got another one. Oh, he bit though. Oh, we got one. Got one. There we go. Little guy. We are keying in. Maybe we'll get a big one. Who knows? Fishing with John B. Anything could happen. We are now anchored in our second position. Gonna try and scurry along this bank and that bank. This could be good. There we go, first cast along the bank. All right, there we go. Bass number three. All right, fresh after the move, right there along the bank. The benefits of a kayak, man. Imagine if you were fishing this thing from the, uh, like from the bank, if it wasn't a cliff, you'd be limited to only casting one area of the grass. With the kayak, you can get right along that grass edge and where the bass seem to be hanging out today. And that is how you're gonna get those catches, man. Yes, all right first cast over here and another advantage here is that these bass are probably just going to keep on do i have one? Oh, okay i was stuck on that these bass are probably going to keep on cruising along the side of this here so there's potential for new fish to be caught as i work this thing a few times oh got him. oh no he came off i'm noticing what's getting their attention over here is harder rod pops Definitely, definitely working. How did I miss that fish? Got him. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yes. All right. My biggest one of the day. That one's halfway decent on the grass hero, guys. Just slaying, slaying, getting them. So dope. I'm very excited now. We are starting to figure these things out with the Grass Hero. Harder rod tip pops seems to be what gets the bites the last few times around. Put him back in the water real quick. Let him get on his merry way. And uh, dudes, just all I'm doing is following these grass lines. If you got a yak right now, springtime, they're up shallow, go ahead, get along those grass lines. I, I, you know, there wasn't much opportunity to catch too much of that first spot. Now we're over here. I'm just getting these things turned on and look at this, I see fry all over the bank. See, these are post-spawn bass protecting their young. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's just hundreds or thousands right here of uh, baby bass, man. So I'm gonna stay right here for just a second. I'm not even, anchor down which is nice because then you got to pick up re-anchor pick up re-anchor but this little wall seems pretty good i'm going to work this a little ways and then i'll probably go to that corner and i'll probably hit the rest of it so let's get this thing done man john must be just slaying because i haven't even heard from him i'm sure he's got his bait that is just rocking and rolling right now i haven't even seen him so <laughs> it's a good day it's <laughs> shaping up man got a bite oh he let go of it he said nope no thank you you didn't set the hook fast enough for me wind has died down significantly it's actually like nice
Oh, wow. He came out of the... Wow. He came up and hit it like a top water. Oh. Oh, that was so cool. I was literally just hopping over this piece of reed or whatever. And that bass just came up for it. Got him. There we go. Oh, fudge. That might have been a good one right there. Whoo. They're just taking into these reeds. I was trying to just get them in quick. Oh my gosh. That was, that was sick right there. That thing's not going to eat again. And neither is anything else over here, I bet. But let's just... Dang, dudes. Some crazy misses today. Oh. He's trying to take us from the grass. There we go. Got him. All right. I think that's number five right there. We're getting spoiled now, man. Check them out. Boom. He's in the grass. Come on. Cast after. There we go. Man, that's the name of the game out here, dudes. Far casts. These things, they can sense you. I'm telling you what. That's a good one, though. All right, man. We are just stacking them up now. Heck yeah. Wedged up a little bit of reed. We are about to get one out of this little area, I think. Oh, jeez. That thing smacked it. Wow. He got my saucy swimmer tail right there. Whoo. Time to re-up. We are back after that brief intermission. Saucy swimmers, 3.3 inch in green pumpkin blue. We need to keep those on hand. Oh, it is a fish. I thought I was just stuck on that grass. Oh crap, we gotta keep him pinned. Oh no, this could be bad. He's gonna come off. He's gonna come off. Oh, he came off. That would've been a cool catch. Oh snap. There he comes. Nice. All right. Sweet. The little pocket prevails. Do, 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 do. Got him good. There we go. Got him free. Off in this back pocket. Far cast, man. It's what you got to do. They come straight out of the grass for it. He's just swimming slowly right back to his spot. I wonder... That looks good, but nothing on the frog just yet. Dude, it picked up. <laughs> Have you all been smashing him or what? Yeah, man, I'm I started throwing it just in this last pocket over that grass. I was pretty amped, but uh, I had a, my first bite was on a bandito bug. How's the thrust on that thing? She running good? Got him. There we go. Oh! 
We're back on land. Natives made it through. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use the Lawrence at all or not? Like, I mean, just I depth didn't or? didn't charge the battery last night, but yeah. I used it when I got here when I first got Yeah. We need to just go uh, cliff jumping next time. <laughs> Man, what a day, guys. We are locked and loaded, though. Ready to head out of here. What started off slow ended with a bang, you guys. So I appreciate y'all for sticking around till the end if you did. Just know I appreciate it. You never know when a vlog is going to pop off halfway through. You saw the first half of the day, nothing. I didn't get my first bite until 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We got at it. I mean, I woke up at 5.30 to get out here. So it started off slow again. Then boom, 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 boom. Maybe 10 fish. Missed another seven. It was craziness. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>